Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. If any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John. <clears throat> Patronize me. Can you keep it down, please? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory- You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. 
When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Tanya has always been late. Nah, not really. Only since she's been seeing him. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Come on, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? He nearly fell through the front door. Some dad we got, huh? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you ship that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> you think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. <sighs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. Oh, Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. 
I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Wow, Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Son of a bitch clock. be right about my family.
I think so, too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan? Gotta get Megan out! Won't you spare me over till another
Hello. And welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together, for eternity, in God's loving embrace.
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. Damn, I'd never have thought of that. Ugh, call for help, sure thing, Professor. Good job you're here. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> We'll be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. Where's my phone? Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Uh. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. He could just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. Fine. You can stay right here. I'll go myself. Hey, Professor! He is a professor, right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? Ugh, guess so. What girl 
held up the professor's ass. I think you should show him a little more respect. He thinks he's smarter than us, but book smart is no good out here. He's all up himself, acting like the big man on campus. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one. Push! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. <sighs> What's the plan now? I already said I want to wait at the bus for help, not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here, we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made. You scared you'll lose? There's not gonna be a vote. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? Uh... Looks like he ain't so keen after all. If you got something to say to me, spit it out. John's right. Heading into town is our quickest way to find help. Satisfied? Sure. Whatever you say. Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. <laughs> You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? I'm still not sure heading into town is such a great idea. I'm going to hang out by the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. Fine, I'll go wait on my own, no problem. Someone's gonna show up real soon. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. What? What? I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone, then? Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? 
Hey, wait, what are you doing? Taylor, look out. What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back. I walk straight out every time. It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something. OK, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? OK, OK, I'm coming. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's OK. We're going to be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right take football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. How'd you get that bruise? No biggie. Must have got it when the bus crashed. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you, you know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all.
I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. <laughs> Are you for real? Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? We don't need a label, do we? Come on. So what exactly are we then? I don't know what we are yet. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night, or we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, the show is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is. Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Son, at least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20.
Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. <laughs> 